I'm Evo Taz and welcome back to The Devil in Me. If you like the content, please hit these buttons. Alright guys, welcome back. I love the fact she's got a screwdriver in her, her little pouch thing. She doesn't use it. Her skill is using that Morty meter, which doesn't do anything. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Save this. Huh. That's where that guy hung himself. I hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay. I'm uh, struggling to play this in one sitting. It's kind of freaking me out a bit. The story is really good. Really believable. If you've ever seen movies like Saw, um, it just follows that kind of feel. What is going look I was just mentioning so on look at this basically a trap he's on a pressure plate thing now they're mannequin let's check out the room first okay, we need a key what the fuck what is this is it some sort of message he's trying to scare us Something. I don't know if he's scaring us or if this is out of a game. You know the whole saw thing. You want to play a? I want to play a game. I haven't seen saw in many years. Well, that's one way of getting a key. Oh, I thought it was examining the plate. Didn't see the card there. Brian Hart. What do the numbers mean? I guess the way that worked is he pulled her into the machine. In order to stop it. Okay, we have a master key now, I guess. now oh damn it mannequin oh there's our friend over there take the coin seen a premonition painting for a while actually on that note the button for that look you haven't seen that yet oh, 
Why can't I move? Burned. Oh, we saw the premonition for this, so if we went for the door, we would have burned alive. We didn't go for the door. We didn't get stabbed, neither. Don't know if we're gonna see that or not, because we don't know if he's alive yet. That might be coming up soon. Turned. That was a fairly lengthy premonition, all right. Mark, here. Let's move the desk. <laughs> Mark? Jamie? Here. Kate. We're okay. We're okay. <sighs> Thank God. We found a key. Let's get out of here. Really, dude, you couldn't give it to us. Hear that? This way. One eighty one. Is that going down? Oh, this is messed up. Erin, are you okay? Please say you're alright. Get me out of here! Hurry up! It's another trap! They're both locked. Shit! What was that? are welded in place he fucking wants us to watch wait look regulator switch will that give the mayor no not both of them it's sucking out all the air whoever we point this lever at is gonna die what? Do something! he wants to choose doesn't he oh my god If we don't do something, both of them will die, Mark. Jamie, please. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please help me. Jamie, please. Help 
We have to choose. Now! Uh. I didn't pick any of them. I, Jesus, Aaron, she's 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 gone. She's she's fucking gone. Oh my god. Oh my god. I I didn't know what to do. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. None of this is on us. This is all Dumet. He set us up. We need a plan. Forget his games, traps, all that bullshit. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. It's Charlie. That's what she wrote. It's Charlie. It must mean something, right? Is she saying Charlie's involved in all this? How? He did get us out here. He insisted on it. What are you talking about? That's crazy. We can make guesses all day, but if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective, I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. We play his games, we'll lose. We need to outthink him. He's trying to pick us off one at a time. We need to stick together. Hang on. He could be listening to us right now. Where should we go? Back to the ferry. It left, remember? It's on a line, maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it isn't good enough. The lighthouse. Maybe we can signal for help. There's police boats patrolling the lakes, right? All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. Are you shooting any of this? No one is going to believe it without proof. You want me to record him trying to kill us? And the bodies? For the cops? Hear that? The walls are moving again. Kate, hang on. We need to stay close. Shit! Kate! Hang on! Ah! 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 Mark! Are oh, you gotta Damn be kidding it. me? Save them. Yes. What is this? Yeah, I think that saved him because he would have gone into this cage.
would have been locked in the Yeah, I don't agree with that thing with Aaron. I mean, I was doing everything right. I think the the I didn't choose between them. And afterwards, I thought I may have killed them both, but I guess the game just decided to pick. Odorless paint thinner. I need to use my monopod. Or is it? There we go. Oh, we just got upgrade. I hate friggin' mannequins. I'm not gonna lie about it. Freaking me out. Alright, we got a camera upgrade. Stuck in here. All right, how do we get out of here now? Oh, there's a door over here. Look at that. Oh, there he is. Safe. Oh, he's got cameras and listening devices everywhere, so... Yeah, there's another mannequin there and another one over there.
72, 93. What does that mean? He's the one from the bar, I guess. 72. They mean anything? Real human teeth. He is look real as well. With that thing over there. There we go. We just did some eighteen modifications. Nice, look at that. You have a stabby stick now. Freaking weird. <laughs> Uncanny.
That was 6883, right? 83. You okay? No! I did This fucking thing popped out of nowhere! I don't remember the other number. 7283 was. Nah, I don't remember it. They're written it down. Oh well. Welcome, new recruits. Okay, do we have anything else in here? Psychological evaluation. Psychological assessment conducted by Dr. Isabella Garcia. Patient name, Monday, Hector. Behavioral observation. Hector arrived at our scheduled appointment 24 minutes late. Once we sat down and began the session, he struggled to maintain eye contact. He found it difficult to articulate his feelings and was terse and guarded throughout. Hector has been working long hours and as a result, isn't sleeping well. Hector spoke about his recently deceased mother and displayed evidence that he hasn't yet fully come to terms with her death. I strongly recommended a course of antidepressants, but he is resistant to this idea, believing that it would have a detrimental effect on his capability with regards to his current investigation. Hector describes his work in immaculate detail, and contrary to earlier in the session, his thought content is both coherent and logical. He is displaying an unhealthy obsession with his work, but his recent bereavement may be the underlying issue. Okay, we're working our way around. The only way we can go. Mm -hmm. 